Hey, what's up you guys? Matrox Gaming here and welcome to today's video. Now, we're going to be finally talking about Super Saiyan Rose, which in my honest opinion is probably the most unique Super Saiyan transformation that we ever got, aside from Super Saiyan 4 of course, mainly just because of the fact that, as I'm going to explain in this video, Super Saiyan Rose is a transformation only utilized by one person, that being Goku Black, and the circumstances behind this form is a little bit different than the normal Super Saiyan Blue form. So with all that out of the way, cool. Let's go ahead and dive right into the meat of this video. So as I mentioned at the end of my last video, Super Saiyan Rose is pretty much the antithesis to what Super Saiyan Blue is, except this form is only utilized by Goku Black. The functions of this form is pretty similar to Super Saiyan Blue, with the only differences being the aesthetics of it and how it's obtained. So to obtain this form, you basically need to be a godly being inside the body of a Saiyan. Zamasu is a Kai and stole Goku's body, so when he transforms into Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, instead of getting Super Saiyan blue, he reached Super Saiyan Rose. The color is obviously different. Instead of having blue hair, black gets pink hair, and instead of a fiery blue aura, he gets a pinkish purple aura with the same effect and texture. The reason it's different than the normal Super Saiyan blue form is because since Zamasu is already a god, his godly essence affects the Saiyan's power, and therefore the aesthetics is going to be different. However, in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, Goku Black is able to further evolve Rose into Super Saiyan Rose 3, and as you would expect, he gets significantly more powerful than he was previously. And this is a Goku Black post-Future Trunks saga. I will say though that had Goku Black known about Kaioken, then it would be possible for Black to transcend and use Super Saiyan Rose Kaioken, which already sounds bad enough, but theoretically, Goku Black could also possibly evolve his Super Saiyan Rose form and reach Super Saiyan Rose evolution. Now Black is very innovative as he managed to make his Super Saiyan Rose form stronger than Super Saiyan Blue by taking advantage of the Zenkai boost that comes with the Saiyan body. So could you imagine if Goku Black managed to reach Super Saiyan Rose evolution and then stack that with Kaioken times 20? That sounds horrifying. The entire multiverse would be rid of mortals, and let's just say if he still had to fuse with future Zamasu, I mean, let me tell you, it'd be game over for Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. Just imagine if a concept of this version of Merge Zamasu was able to walk freely even while battling Vegito as his max. I have no doubt in my mind that Zamasu would have won. If Vegito did the same thing utilizing Vegeta's blue evolution and Goku's Kaioken times 20 on top of Super Saiyan Blue, I'd have little faith that Vegito could win. As a matter of fact, he'd probably defuse instantly. And I know Vegeta didn't unlock blue evolution until like one arc later, but that's beside the point. Merge Zamasu could just stack on Goku Black's power with future Zamasu's immortality, and since Zamasu was a god to begin with, then that means that the fusion would be permanent even if it still became corrupted. Super Saiyan Rose was also maintained when Goku Black fused with his future counterpart Zamasu to form Merge Zamasu, and so Goku Black's power is maintained and further increased throughout the time. And Goku Black consistently battles Vegeta and Trunks in this form, and that's pretty much all we've ever seen of it, so there's not really much more to go off of with it, so I think this is just where I'll stop the video. Like I said in the beginning of this video, Super Saiyan Rose is quite potentially the most unique transformation aside from Super Saiyan 4 since we've only seen one person really use it. The next explanation video I'll do is on Ultra Instinct and we'll have a little bit more to go off of since there's a whole lot more that we can explain about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. That's pretty much it for today guys, Matrox Gaming out, peace.